Let's go taste the sunshine. It's not quite eight o'clock in the morning. We're gonna go let the birds out. Already walked the dogs. Good morning. Good morning. Is it going to be a good day? We're going to stay nice and cool. You guys see this? This is bark. This is the bark coming off of that tree. It's a sycamore tree, I guess. And it sheds all of its bark different times of the year. It is just everywhere. I'm so glad I put that cover over the chickens. They're being a little feisty this morning. that happen? I was just standing here and I hopped up. Yep. Hi, I don't want to. Yeah, they got some sharp, sharp claws. My neck's all torn up. Because they were on this shoulder and then They were on this shoulder. It's, oh, there's a mosquito. Okay, it is Friday night. Um, I had an amazing day with Alex and I don't think I'm going to edit this tonight. I think I'm going to record tomorrow and just combine the two days. Um, because tomorrow morning I have to get up early because Anthony and I are gonna go for a bike ride and we have a family kickball game through our church that we're gonna go to. And then I have my class that I'm teaching. And so I think it'll be good to just combine the two days, a little bit more footage for you guys to enjoy. I'm sorry if you missed out on today's episode that would have gone up tonight, but hopefully you'll understand. I have been doing a little bit of knitting. I didn't do much during the day. Once Alex left with her dad, I did do some. Um, I finished my second sleeve on my Lapoof. So I've got both sleeves done and they are just waiting for the cuff ribbing and then of course the body. <laughs> um, so I'll be working on that. I'll take that to my class with me tomorrow. And I am working on my meshy twist, Stephen West shawl. I feel really good with the progress. If you see the stitch marker here, that's where I was the last time you guys saw it. 
So I've made some pretty good progress on this, I feel. I'm really enjoying it. Um, I just had to re, this was a cake and I had to rewind it because I had a bit of tangle in it and I was like, Ugh. so I just finished redoing that by hand. But I am gonna move this progress keeper up um, so that we can keep track and you guys will know when it, where it was the last time you saw it when I show it next. Okay, so that's really all the knitting I've been doing today. Um, I am gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna stay up and edit this because I do need to get up early to go um, on that bike ride and the family kickball game through our church. <sighs> so that is my plan tonight. I will upload this all tomorrow and we'll see how the rest of the weekend goes. We did get um, a warning for severe thunder and lightning this weekend because that's my dishwasher, it's done. Um, with our temperatures where they're at, we are expected to get some thunder and lightning. So hopefully that's not too extreme. Um, I love lightning shows and thunderstorms. I do love them and enjoy them. Um, didn't get a lot of those growing up in Alaska. So they are pretty neat, uh, but I do know that they, they, ha they can start fires. So I am aware of that and I don't, I don't want to have to worry about that either. So that is it for today. I will see you guys in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It's Saturday. We are in a hurry because we have uh, the family kickball game with our church this morning. So we're running around. Good morning. Good morning, lovelies. Good morning, she's ready. Good morning. Hey, be lovely. Come on, one more. Good morning. Is she coming out? Come on. There you go. Good morning. Hi, sweetheart. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You're so pretty. Good morning. Good morning. So we are gonna hurry up and get ready and ride our bikes over to Alex's dad's house and then we'll head to the baseball game or kickball game. Morning.
It's Saturday night. Um, what a fantastic day. Uh, Anthony and I had a great bike ride. We had kickball at the park with our church family. And then I went and taught a Granny Square crochet class. It was a lot of fun. I got to spend some time with a great friend and see some folks I haven't seen in a while. It was a really good day. And then I got home and did some cleaning. Not that I recorded any of that because nobody needs to see any of that. But, um, and then I decided I am going to kick out some toes. I got the toes in on our Christmas stockings. So here is Anthony's. I even uh, attached the loop. You start with the, the loop for the stocking and then it's very similar to weaving in an end, which is not something I typically spend my time doing. However, I did take care of this so that we had the loop. Here's Anthony's all done with the toe here is alex's look at how cute these penguins are so again this was a pattern on ravelry and you got to pick the the foot and leg pattern you got to pick the the color work pattern and this trim pattern you see here anthony just has horizontal stripes. That's what he chose. Alex chose these little things of holly. The one that I chose was called Dasher. Okay, so then you get to choose your color work. I call these coffee cups. I'm pretty sure that the chart called it coffee, but it could be hot cocoa, right? Alex chose the penguins. There were a couple mice over a, a gift box with a bow on it. That was a cute one. A Anthony chose the, the snowflakes. There was also like some mittens. And then we each got to choose our pattern of um, the leg and the foot. So Anthony chose the plaid. Alex chose these snowflakes. And the one I chose was called Jax. So I got my stockings done and I did get the um, wool I'm gonna need for my cuffs and my button band. I'm gonna, I might do my cuffs on my um, Le Pouf tonight. I might just work on the body. I don't know yet, but I do have the color that I'm gonna be doing all the ribbing on for my Le Pouf. So I am going to put these two days together and edit this and get it up. Thank you guys so much. I have so thoroughly enjoyed all of your comments and I hope everybody's enjoying a weekend. We are still in the middle of a heat wave. I thought that it was gonna cool off, but I saw, so today's Saturday. Next Sunday, let's see. I think it was Sunday or Monday. I just, not that it matters really. It's gonna be hot both days. So let's see if I can get my five day forecast here. Here is my forecast for the next week. Do you see that? These are all the temperatures that we have for the next 10 days, I believe. It's gonna be warm. It's gonna be so warm and yeah, there you go. I hope you guys are doing good, and I will see you tomorrow, which is Sunday. Bye.